Hi, my name is Sean Beasley and uh, I wanted to show all of my viewers how the new Android app works or how it doesn't work. So we'll go to search and search for Mega Ticket. So this is a community development from Pavlo, pa Pavel Titov. It's gratis, so it doesn't cost anything. Uh, it says here, we'll look at the description. It's the following features, dashboard, notification of new assigned tickets, OTS views, queue view status, escalation locked, all essential ticket operations. There's here uh, requirements. Here you see you have to have the iPhone handle installed. With OTRS 3, it probably work in other versions. I haven't tested it yet. Here this references to OTRS org. And there's some to-dos that are actually, um, yeah. Well, let's go back and see how it works. So we'll click install. Now it's installed, we can start it right out of the App Store. So now I have to put in my um, login name, my password, and the name of the server. We need to make sure that we go into our OTRS installation, choose the master repository, the ITSM, we need to go back to the master repository and click update repository information. Once we've done that, we'll see a list of available packages in the online repository. You can either click in here to read uh, about the iPhone handle itself. Here's the documentation to the iPhone handle. Or we're going to go ahead and install it. We're going to go ahead and install it right now because we need it in order to continue the testing on our system. So, open the documentation and see if there's any other dependencies that we need to take care of. Here's instructions for, follow, uh, for installing the package. And here we see the information about the first steps. As soon as the iPhone, iPhone handle module has been installed, a new group of settings iPhone is automatically generated and we can access them via the sysconfig. And this controls the behavior of the iPhone ticket action screens as well as some debug options. We can review all settings and change them if necessary to meet, match the current OTRS configuration. So now I've got my iPhone handle installed and I've got my system set up and ready for login. Now let's go ahead and click login. Broken down when trying to connect to my script. There's no menu options. So for some reason it's not working with with my installation. So now I'm logged on to my system as admin. I was having a little bit of a problem. Um, the error messages don't really tell you what you're doing wrong. They just tell you that it's broken. So evidently if you put a broken URL um, in your pro application it's going to crash and uh, I had a couple other error messages along the way. So what do we have here? We have some basic functions. We have queue view, status view, escalation view, and lock tickets. Um, we have a couple of icons up here. One of them is settings. You can here set the frequency of how often your um, screen should be updated. You can also enable it in roaming. You can also turn it off for mobile networks. So I guess uh, it would automatically continue to work in a, in a VLAN situation. Here's the, the VLAN. If I turn that off, we'll see if we can break it again. So now we'll go back and that'll save automatically. Here I can create a new ticket. Here I can see I can start typing in. I can choose a queue. Hitting enter automatically makes the subject larger. That's, that's strange. So I can make my subject multiple lines. When I click into the um, next field, it'll spring up so I have a larger uh, text area. This 
is ah, auto type from and German. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what we type in here. So we'll just type in a bunch of crap and then we'll click submit. Then we say the action has been completely uh, successfully completed. So if we go into our queue view, we should now see that in our junk queue, we have our new test ticket with wonderful English-German combinations. When I click here on the pencil, I can then compose an answer, sending it then um, to somebody. Here there's uh, no uh, customer information. And then I can set a pending date, for example. Oh, if I click on the pending date, it doesn't seem to want to work for pending states. But apparently other everything else seems to be quite good. Doesn't check any doesn't check any addresses or any formats of addresses or anything like that. Which uh, is definitely something you would want to have done. Here's another toolbar for adding notes, so that's a good function. Um, I can go back. Oh, I can close it using this button, so this is the close button. So here I have uh, the option to compose a mail, to add a note, or to close. Does that have a function? That doesn't have a function. So if I go back to my queue view, I can actually look into one of the tickets that, I, that I've made uh, on the system where there, of course, you have to have an email for. If I click Compose here, let's see if he adapts. He automatically adapts. So if I've added a broken ticket with a broken customer within this interface, then it just won't fill out any customer information. If there's a customer already there, then it'll uh, automatically assume this customer as well. Here I don't have any locked tickets. Let's see if I were to go back into my queue view. It's it's really fast actually. It's not not that bad at all. It's really spartanic, but it does it does work quite fast. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this without adding any additional text. And now I should see that I have a locked ticket. I go back into the queue view. So here I see I have a locked ticket that would have updated within a minute, I guess. Uh, I, I still don't see any locked tickets. Oh, now I've got a message. What was that message? New tickets available. Look at that. It uses the messaging system. So I must assume if I were to here exit this program, which I don't really, I don't really have an exit button. That's that's kind of disturbing. But I would be messaged then if this program was running in the background. So that's good to know. I can go to status view. I see there's open and close tickets. Let's see if I can reopen a closed ticket with this. I were to add a note. I can't change the can't change the status there. If I were to open an email, I can't change the status at all. So I see I have a new ticket available. I've got two lock tickets. But I see that I see that answering to that one ticket automatically opened. So there's not a whole lot of rhyme and reason to the um, to the interface at this point. It does uh, lack being able to set statuses. Here I can click menu and click close, or I can close up here. If I click menu here, it would be nice if I had a um, these icons that I had up here, maybe I could just replace these icons through the menu options. And I can only see um, 
an overview of the article. So I, I only see the article name. I don't see any of the contents here whatsoever. I can respond, I can react, but I can't, uh, I can't get any real information out of the system at this point, which is kind of sad, but it's a, it's a beginning, and I'm wonderfully happy that somebody has taken the time uh, to get into this. So if I go into here to this ticket and I click Compose, I can kind of cheat. No? I can kind of see a, a little bit of what's going on here depending on how the system works, but uh, it's, it still needs help. So contact the developer and get with them about more features and uh, send him as much information you can. And we'll have to keep our eye on this. I'll keep testing it for you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.